All right, guys, so today we're going to be looking at dronehacks.com and see if we're able to hack our DJI Mini 2. Go ahead, open the browser. I'm going to type in drone hacks into the Google search bar. So that's going to be the first website here. Go ahead, open that up. All right, so one of the first steps that you want to do, you're going to want to find your device. So they have DJI and Auto. So we're gonna go ahead, scroll down. Now, here you have all the devices that are compatible with the drone hacks. So go ahead and click on DJI Mini 2. Now the current firmware that I have is 01020300. So what's available on this firmware is signal hacking altitude limit removal, and no-fly zone removal. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the basket. All right, so it comes up to 35 euros. And that's with the current sale. Normally, it's roughly around 40 euros. Uh, I do have a coupon that I found online. Uh, it's Copter10. I'll go ahead and type that in. And that should give us 10% off. All right. I'll go ahead to proceed to checkout. So normally you will fill out all the details, all your information. For me, I have already purchased their product before for my Air 2S. So for me, I'll just log in. I went ahead and purchased the product for $31.50. You get your confirmation number and you should also receive an email. Now, it is up to your own risk when you're flashing or downgrading the firmware, installing the hack. This is, for me personally, the reason why I wanted to do it is because I had an issue uh, flying in my house because I live near the airport. All right, so we went back to the website, go to downloads, pick the product DGI. Now you can download it to Windows 10 or Android device. So for me, it's going to be Windows 10. Go ahead and download it. Just open the download folder. All right, so I ran the program. And I started experiencing an issue saying that the device cannot be connected or that it cannot find it. So one way that I was able to solve this issue was actually by restarting the computer and starting the whole process. So what you wanted to do was to, since the Air 2S and the Mini 2 are different for me, so it was a little bit different experience. So what I had to do turn on the mini 2 and then plug in the USB cable to the computer. And then I was able to finally get it to connect. As you can see here, DJI mini 2, I blurred out the serial number. Uh, so without even purchasing the license, you are able to hack some of the parameters for the sport mode and normal mode. So you can increase the speed or decrease the speed of the drone. Obviously, the sport mode, uh, everything is set to the max by default. But if you wanted to increase or decrease anything on the normal mode, you can do so here. All right, so you're going to go ahead, type in your email, the password that you have created on dronehags.com with your license. So what they're letting you know is that once you connect this license to this particular drone, you're not going to be able to transfer it anymore. And once you sell the drone or if you update the firmware, the drone hacks will be canceled from your device. So go ahead, click OK. All 
All right, so now you have the FCC mode, and that is the hack for the signal. Usually in the United States uh, and Canada, you already have the maximum uh, str signal strength, whereas in Europe, they don't. They have actually half the strength. So I went ahead and uh, even though I'm in North America, I clicked to hack the FCC mode. Just as an example, Okay, now it told me to follow these rules, disconnect the USB, power off the drone, then power on the drone again, connect the USB, and then click OK immediately after you do so. So I went ahead. It took a little bit of time to recognize the drone again. Clicked OK. So signal hack applied. All right. All right, so I restarted the system again. And this time I'm going to be able to remove the altitude limit and no fly zone. So I went ahead, click hack, disclaimer, click yes. And they're letting you know that if you ever update the firmware, they will cancel out the hack. Click OK. And that's it. Now we're done. Now your drone is hacked. Now you can take off anywhere you want to. And you're good to go. All right, so now that we got everything done, I'm going to go ahead and test it through my phone. Open up the DJI, it's trying to let me update. I canceled it. Go ahead, connect the device. All right, here I go into settings, top right corner. All right, under safety, unlock GeoZone. Go to aircraft unlocking license and it should be in there under dronehacks.com. And that means you're ready to go. I went ahead and tested the takeoff since I do live by the airport in a red zone. It's going to prompt the warning. Agree. And it works, took off. I hope this helped out. Once again, subscribe, hit like, leave comments. And I hope this helped out, guys. Have a good one.